Welcome to the Great Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, you got Yo. some more for me this week, huh? I do. I got another one, baby. Let's TNT go. been on the job. All right. You guys don't think I work here. I work here. Jonas, I love video games. You know this about me. I do. You do like them. You like video games a little bit. I know this about you. I used to love them. Now I like them. Yeah. Yes. You And you tend to get heated. Do you remember as a kid, have you ever played a multi-mass, like a multiplayer game? You get p- so PO'd. Oh, I used to break Super Nintendo controllers. You broke controllers? I threw them. All right. I mean, I was I had an anger issue with a kid. Have you ever, like, broken a console? No. No? No, no. I accidentally, like, what I used to do was, like, I would just get mad and I'd throw the controller down. <laughs> like, not, like, in any sort of, like, I'm going to break it, throw it against the wall, anything like that. But I would, like, I would just get mad and throw it. And then I had this, like this programmable super nintendo controller oh no and i broke the l button off of it and i was like oh i gotta stop doing that yeah, stop doing and that. and then i started just like hitting a pillow with my hand or something like All you right, know like good. yeah but now, at least you've never lashed out at a person no no never lashed at a person never broke a system never broke a tv nothing nothing crazy so with that being said a new jersey man got so pissed while playing in a game of Arch Age, that he flew to Florida from New York, New Jersey. <laughs> Newark, New Jersey? Is that right? Is I, that... It's not New York. No, Newark. Oh, okay. I thought Newark. you said New York, New Jersey. I was like... <laughs> Newark, New Jersey. He landed in Jacksonville at 2 a.m., snuck into... How the fuck did he get a flight that he could land at 2 a.m.? Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> That's the question. Landed in New landed in Jacksonville, Florida at 2 a.m., snuck into this guy's house that he had gotten to an online argument did he with. he dox him? How did he figure out where he lived? And he started swinging at him with a hammer. Um, I don't know if he actually landed and he hits. There's no information on that right now. Truth, but not facts. He has attempted murder charges being brought up on him. Okay. Hold up. So my, uh, besides the fact of how the hell did he find a flight to land at 2 a.m., how did he find out where this guy lives, those are my first two questions. My third qu- question slash comment. Uh, you got, ooh, I'm trying to think how I want to phrase it. It's fine. Get, take your uh, time. Get it out. He's got anger issues. He's got, <laughs> that's like, not a question. That's a statement. I said question comment. I said because here's the thing. Yeah. If you get if you're so mad that you like, it, that took hours. He's still so seethingly mad hours later about this. He went to that man's house and swung a hammer. Like if I like yeah. got mad enough that I was like I'm gonna drive there, I'd get to the car and be like, No, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Like yeah. I wouldn't. I'm never. I mean, I've never been mad for more than like ten minutes about anything. <clears throat> I'm not. Look, Jonas. Honestly, sometimes you got to stand on business. All right. Okay. I don't know if you've ever stood on business before. I guess not. Not if it entails driving to another city or flying and murdering someone. Sometimes people think you are a bitch. They think you're bitch made. I mean, I am. So, to, in order to prove that you are not bitch made, sometimes you have to do something that is uncharacteristic. Like in jail, yeah, like show out. You That's gotta be out like, of pocket. Got to be the big boy, out of pocket. Just so that they understand is that when they are dealing with you, it is no longer a game, all right? <laughs> oh, I thought we were just playing a game. Yeah, they Turns out here out. playing checkers with everybody else. When you come into my stadium, we are. it's no longer a game, all right? It's life or death here. Some people don't understand that. It's like you flip a switch and just break somebody's finger. Yeah. And- so look, I don't know. I don't know, Jonas. This guy's name. His name is David Kang. He's twenty years old. Uh, honestly, I'm not. I'm not saying that you should ever, ever cause harm to another person. But I respect a man who stands on business. My man was in the chat logs like, "Hey, brother, I will fly to your house and smack you, stupid, silly." And he said, brother, I will drop my Addy right now. Come out here. My man went to the airport, 
airport. Airport, bought a ticket, got on a plane, snuck into your motherfucking house with a hammer. That's, <laughs> wait, like, honestly, that is, is the realest. Is that realist. what really happened? That is what really happened. Oh, so wait, hold on. I, did, I asked how he got the address. And you didn't oh, tell that part. No, I'm sorry. I don't know if that's really. I, oh, I'm, just, I'm I saying that like, makes the most sense. That makes the most sense. If, if somebody was like, it makes the most if sense. If somebody was like, you won't. Here's my address. Get the fuck. <laughs> I can't get you. I can't get you to leave. I mail. I mail him. A, I mail him a box of dicks. Like the gummy dicks, and it's like you've been served a box of dicks. Yeah, I could see you doing that. I'd be like. Didn't showed I? you? Yeah, I showed them. I gave them high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, enjoy those calories, fatty. <laughs> like the fuck? <laughs> enjoy those calories, fat. Order like 10 pizzas to their house. Yeah. Something stupid. Now you gotta eat them, fat ass. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Look, Jonas, I'm just saying is that I think is that David Kang was standing on business. He's 20 years old, man. Um, when When the police asked him why he did it, his answer was he is a very bad person online, and honestly, like David is or the other guy, the, the guy he assaulted. He's a very bad person online. Yeah, makes sense. So he's teaching him a lesson. He was trying to teach him a lesson. The man dropped his ad. He said, "Come to my house if you're so bad." He was like, "I live right here." David Kang wrote that ish down and showed up. I wonder if that guy. I bet that lesson. guy won't do that ever again. I don't think he will. Uh -uh. I think he's gonna keep giving his address out. Nah. Fam. He's like, cause listen, listen. After it happened no, once, no, after it happened no, no, once, no, 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 no. how many times do you think it's gonna happen again? Bro, I'm no, I'm not, brother. Fuck, forget that. Forget, yo. If I'm on Overwatch and I'm talking ish in the chat, and you're like, hey, I'm gonna show up to your house, and I'm like, bro, I live right here, Austin, whatever, and you show up. I'm never look. I'm taking the mic off. I will sell my Arc X Nine X. Never talking online. I'm never, never talking again. Never. Not online. Hell no. You know, you know. Fool me once, shame on you, right, Jones? Fool me twice. Who's the idiot at this point? Yeah, you don't. You don't want to get fooled again. You want to know the worst part, Jonas? Uh, you want to know the worst part about this though? This whole story. Oh, I can't wait for this. So, uh, Kako. Kakio Games has announced uh, the closure today, setting June 27th at 8 a.m. as the final day for the servers for Arc Online. So the game is Arc. I mean, yeah, Arc Age Online. So the, the game is no longer even available in North America or EU. Oh my God! And they both lived in the United States. Wow. So yeah, tragic. So I, I honestly think is that maybe it was the the dying of the game that also had a little bit of the. Uh, they play with the same guy every night because there's only four of you left playing online. <laughs> He's like, he's been talking shit for months. Yeah, me yeah. and him are the only four people left on here. He's been stealing my gold and breaking what into my. Arc? What is it, bro? It does it does it matter? I'm curious what kind nine. of game it is. It's an MMO uh, RPG. Arc Online. Arc Age Online, I think. Arc online. Age. Arc Age. But yeah, the game is over. Uh, the guy he's brought up on charges. I don't know what charges he'll be brought oh, up. Oh, it's on. like EverQuest. Yeah, it, you know what? I'm never gonna play it because it's not. You can't even play it anymore in the states. So I mean, you wanted to till they closed it down. I did not. You wanted to go play with David Duke. I won't lie. Is that honestly? If anything was could have brought this game back, it would have been a story like this. Dude, because I've never even heard of this game. Now I'm like, I want to know what it's about. We could have went online because there's only eight people playing. <laughs> Found no, this guy. Wait, seven because one of them is yeah. in jail now. Found this guy <laughs> yeah. and had him come on the podcast. We could And have. talk to him about why he did it. That's honestly. Is he in jail? I mean, yeah, you, you can't attempt. Can we hit him up? You can't break into a person's house and attack him with a hammer. And He'll get out jail. on bail or something, right? Yeah, Can probably. we get him on the podcast? I want to hear why this guy talked. I'm, I'm not friends with him. I don't know the guy. You just think because I play video games, like I know like famous you gamers. You all know each other, right? All you like, video game guys. <laughs> like, hey, TNT, why don't you get a ninja on the podcast? Oh, yeah, okay. Let me just get a ninja. Yeah. Call him up. Yeah. Y'all are friends. Everybody's oh, yeah. got, everybody knows everybody who plays oh, yeah, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face Clan, all of them. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Soda Poppin. Know him too. Soda Popinski. Wow. 
that's the that's really like the disconnect that we have in our lives at this point, Jonas. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 never been more highlighted than when I make a Twitch streamer reference and then you make like a Mike Tyson's punch out <laughs> reference. Mike Tyson punch out from like nineteen ninety two reference. It's it's beautiful, honestly. It is. It's, it's a the dichotomy. Yin and yang of the Crisis Town podcast. It is. it is. And at that moment, the podcast ends. Because that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.